Welcome to T's World Cup. I'm your host, Thomas, and today we will be recapping Day 2's action and taking a look at Day 3's in the 2018 FIFA World Cup. To start things off, Uruguay beat Egypt, Egypt after a late goal, 1-0. Egyptians played wonderful defense but didn't generate that. They had multiple attacking attempts but they never really seemed to have the quality. However, Uruguay, Luis Suarez kept missing a bunch of chances. Edison Gavani had one beautiful free kick that hit the post. However, Jimenez, the center back, scored a late equal, scored a late winner. Then Iran beat Morocco 1-0 after a late 95th minute own goal. It was a perfect header, but otherwise, but it, it was an Iranian, Iranian player, so, yeah. So then, the match of the day, Spain versus Portugal. Nacho gave away a quick free kick to Ronaldo, which he made, obviously. But then, Diego Costa equalized after some beautiful fakes. And then he slotted it home. And then Ronaldo scored again after a terrible, 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 terrible. Like, I felt like I could have saved that. But, I mean, which, I don't know. Maybe there was, like, something weird with the ball. And then it was 2-1. And then Spain, right after the second half, had, had a wonderful free kick. And Diego Costa equalizing. And then Nacho had one of the best goals I have ever seen. It like curved around a defender and then it hit the post and then went in like. It was stunningly beautiful. But then PK gave away a silly foul to Ronaldo and Ronaldo had a great free kick. Deb De Gea's wall was a bit questionable because it was just to the left of Sergio Busquets, who was on the edge of the wall. 3-3 was the final score. Spain, after switching a manager, was happy, was not, well, not happy. Portugal was happy. It felt like a win for Portugal. It felt like a loss for Spain because Spain almost looked like they had it in the bag. However, Spain did not have it in the bag, and Spain will be disappointed, but we'll hopefully get out of the group against Iran and Morocco. Day three's action starts off bright and early at 6 o'clock with France taking on Australia. France, one of the favorites to win the World Cup, will be going against Australia, who won't, like, um, they'll be... It'll be amazing if they even make it out of the group stage. However, Australia didn't win any matches last World Cup. Close as they come was a 3-2 loss against the Netherlands. And then Argentina, one of the fa one of the lesser favorites, but still favorites, to win the World Cup will be going against Iceland who are making their debut to the World Cup. Iceland, after having a wonderful Euro 2016 run, will be hoping to keep that trend going. Argentina will be hoping to win the World Cup. Leo Messi, one of his last chance to ever win the World Cup. Next time he'll be playing, he'll be 35 years old. So then, Argentina will be hoping to win. It's not hope, it just doesn't come down to like a penalty shootout or anything like that in the final. Other, otherwise, we'll be okay. Peru taking on Denmark. Denmark, having Christian Eriksen, will be hoping to get out of the group stage. Peru, first time in the World Cups in since 26 years. Peru will be hoping to get also out of the group stage in group C. Croatia going against Nigeria. 
Nigeria, a young squad hoping to win. They're one of the youngest squads at the World Cup with like seven players under 27, pretty sure. They are a very young, young squad. Croatia having the one of the best midfielder pairings in the world right now. Ivan, Ivan Rakitic and Luka Modric will be hoping to write do better in a major tournament. Also, they have the likes of Perisic and others. Croatia have been disappointing in recent World Cups and other and other tournaments. They will be hoping to get out of the group stage. They are one of the favorites to get out of the group stage just behind Argentina. Germany, although they are not playing tomorrow, we will be taking a look at them. What chances do they have of winning the World Cup? They are the second ranked team to win the World Cup uh, due to odds and stuff like that. And so Germany, with a young-ish, veteran-ish squad, will be hoping to be back-to-back -back champions. One absent that I think was a mistake from their manager was leaving Lee Loisane out. However, the, the main question would have been his attitude having probably not been starting. His people, according to polls and surveys, he may be one of the best managers at this World Cup. Thank you for joining us on another episode of T's World Cup. I'm your host, Thomas. Please subscribe down below and leave a like down below. Other than that, see you next time.